Hello everyone, this is John and welcome back to Cleaner Watt. So I'm here with the Mango Power E portable power station slash solar generator. And I also now have with me um, the Mango Power Solar Move 200 watt portable solar panel. I actually have four of these and I'm going to be attaching that to this power station and to see uh, just how easy these are to connect, um, show how portable these units are, talk about the case and everything like that, and really just see how well this unit performs and if this is something that you should consider. Now for full disclosure, Mango Power did give me the portable power station and also the four uh, portable solar panels in exchange for this review video. So while this is a sponsored video, um, do note that I will be sharing my honest opinion about these products. Okay, first of all, let's quickly talk about the Power E itself and then we'll move over to the solar panels. Now I did do a full review video on the Mango Power E portable power station, so I'm not going to rehash a bunch of that information. If you're curious about that review, I will put a link in the video description and I recommend you check out, but I do wanna just briefly highlight a few things. Uh, the first is that this stores around 3.53 kilowatt hours of energy. It has the ability to put out 3,000 watts of AC power. Um, if you connect two of these units together, this has the ability to put out um, 240 split phase power, once again with two units connected and a separate piece that you have to buy there. But beyond being a portable power station, this is a solar generator as well because this allows you to plug in solar panels and charge it up that way as well. In the last video, I showed you how with fast charge enabled, you can charge up pretty quickly with the grid. Um, I was reaching somewhere near 1600 watts of charging power just with a regular 120 volt 15 amp outlet. And so it charges pretty quickly that way. Um, but you can also connect these solar panels. So let's move over to the solar panel and uh, let's talk about that. So first of all, I really like that it comes in this nice, um, well-made case. It's got handles at the top. It's got a great zipper here, which actually looks like it's like weather sealed. It's a nice, nice weather sealed zipper. Um, and do note that these solar panels are IP67 um, waterproof. So they can withstand uh, moisture if you put them out. So that's good to know. And the case appears to be good like that as well. Um, when it comes to the rough size, you know, it's not exactly two feet by two feet, but just the estimate here, it's just a bit over two feet by just a bit under two feet. So um, not too bad. It weighs somewhere around 20 pounds like that. So it's, it's definitely movable, definitely portable. So when you pull out a package, you can just easily unfold this like that and get it laid out like you want it. You could of course lay it flat on the ground or on the back, there is actually three um, little kickstands which allow you to uh, lean this up and get this angled to catch the sun perfectly. So let's go ahead and get this set up and then we'll come back and show you um, how many watts we're able to get out of four of these. So once again, this is a 200 watt solar panel and I'll talk more about the specs here in a minute about the voltage and the amps, etc. But this is a 200 watt solar panel. Let's go ahead and get it connected to the Mango Power E and then we'll talk about some of the specifics. Okay, in the owner's manual, it tells you that you need to connect these in series. And so um, you just simply need to connect the, all these solar panels together. I'll rearrange them in a minute to get the perfect angle of the sun and get that set up. And also I'm, I ordered a longer extension MC4 cable. This uses standard MC4 solar connector cables um, that just easily snap together there. Um, but I, am, I did order a longer um, extension cable so that I can get these set up perfectly. That's the one complaint that I have is the, the MC4 connector that they had, not only the ones that are connected to the solar panels, but the one that connects to the Power E, which we'll talk about in a second, it's really short. Uh, and so if you wanna get this set up perfectly and get these aligned like you want them, you're gonna need an extension of some kind, extension cord. So I may not be able to get the optimal uh, solar wattage output right now, but I just wanted to show you how easy this is to connect. So I got the first one connected there in series, and um, I'm gonna get these other ones connected. Just once again, easily, you just snap that in to the other connector um, to connect these all in series. Okay, so I got these all connected in series. Now I'm left at either end um, with a connector here that I need to go ahead and connect to the Power E itself. We'll power that up and um, see how many watts we're getting and we'll, we'll kind of move these panels around. Um, 
to get the best angle we can with the short cord that we have. Okay, I showed you in the past video the different ports, um, the charging ports, but you just simply pull that panel up and then you have your charging ports here. On this particular one, you have the solar connector. It comes with the standard um, MC4 connector that's keyed, very easy to connect. You just simply line up the little white dot, push that in, and then go ahead and screw that to tighten that there. So that's easy there. And then um, you just have to connect these MC4 connectors to the ends of the solar panels. And once again, the owner's manual for the Power E recommends that you connect these in series, which we have done. And I currently have four solar panels connected. When it comes to some of the specific numbers that are important for these solar panels, once again, these are 200 watt solar panels, um, each one of these. So we have 800 watts connected here. When it comes to voltage, Mango Power has stated that these put out 20.16 volts at max power, and they put out 9.92 amps at max power as well. Now, when it comes to the solar charge capabilities of the Power E, so obviously we have 200 uh, watts times four, so 800 watts of solar here. And since we have four of these connected, theoretically, that would be somewhere around 80 volts. In order to power the Mango Power E, it can accept up to 2000 watts. So you could connect a bigger solar um, connection to this, but you have to make sure that your solar system is at least putting out 60 volts to be able to charge this. So keep that in mind. So once again, my current setup operating perfectly would be somewhere around 800 watts and somewhere around 80 volts. So let's go ahead and connect this last piece and let's see how many watts we can actually get out of this setup. So as you can see, in order to get this set up with this short cord, I had to put this particular solar panel at an angle and these three are aligned a little bit more ideal. Um, I'll probably slide these around in a minute and see how many watts we can get charging into this. Um, but once again, I will recommend that you buy an extension MC4 cable in order to be able to use four of these together. Um, right now we'll test with four and see how many get. We'll also test with three because theoretically you should be able to charge this with three of these 200 watt solar panels since they put out somewhere around that uh, 20 volts. So I think we can actually charge this with three of them, but we'll do with four first, and then we'll do a test with three of these. Okay, so with this less than perfect setup, you really can't see the screen right now because of the sun, um, but we're charging at a rate of 586, 587 watts. Um, let's see if I move these and angle these a little bit, if I can get that closer to 800, but that's not too bad for an imperfect setup. Uh, but let me move these around and see if we can improve that. All right, with this particular setup, I'm not able to get more than that 586 watts. That's the most I hit right now. Um, I believe I could hit a lot better with an extension cable. And so that's why I'm going to try in the future. And uh, that'll be a good thing there. But as you can see in general, uh, pretty easy to set up. These solar panels are great. Uh, once again, it's just basically, it folds up into a, just around a two by two foot bag that you can carry around. Each one weighs around 20 pounds. It unfolds and it's roughly four times that. And in fact, let me measure and see exactly how big this is unfolded. Okay, unfolded, each one of these is uh, just a bit over 89 inches long. So seven foot, just a bit over five inches and uh, around 21 inches tall. So, you know, a setup like this with four solar panels, you could use this in place of a gas generator in many cases. Um, I did test this and you can run an AC load while you're charging with your uh, DC uh, solar panels. So that's impressive. And uh, you can use this once again, like you would a gas generator while it's generating power. You can also be drawing power from it. Now let's go ahead and connect just three solar panels, disconnect this fourth one, and see if we can get it to charge with just three solar panels and see what the wattage is then. Okay, now I have just three of these solar panels connected. Uh, theoretically, that should still work. Um, so that would be the minimum if you use the Mango Power Solar Move solar panels. But let's see how many um, watts of charging power we can get from that. Go ahead and power this baby up. Okay, so I'm sitting right now at 422, 422 watts um, with three panels connected here. So this would be the minimum voltage, somewhere around that 60 volts. Um, 600 watts 
of rated solar panels producing 400 and now 430 when I looked at it there, 430 watts of power. So that's pretty good efficiency for um, really not being the perfect angle here. Once again, I'm slightly limited because of the shortness of the cord, and but that's easily remedied with a very inexpensive cord. Uh, I ordered mine on Amazon and that should be here in a few days and that should make this setup a little bit more efficient. But overall, you know, I'm impressed with how easy it is to set up these solar panels. Um, I, I love the Mango Power E itself. You know, when it comes to portability, it's really not that hard to move it around with the big wheels on it. Um, it's easy to drag around. The wheels are nice. It, it is heavy, yes. It weighs, you know, just a bit over 100 pounds, but these two big handles make it not too bad to lift. So you can lift it and uh, move it around as needed. Uh, but once again, you know, this would be great for the campsite. This would be great for the work site. Um, get the solar panels set up, get them generating power while you're working. You can pull an AC load while they're charging. Um, and then you won't have to use a stinky, loud gas generator. Yes, this will cost a little bit more at the beginning, but with the lithium iron phosphate batteries built into the Mango Power E, you should get a very, very long life out of this machine. Um, and in the long run, you know, it's, well, it's definitely gonna be worth it. Not have to pay for gas, not to have that noise, um, not be polluting the environment, and also getting the work done that you need. Once again, 3,000 watts of power um, and I tested that and it really did well uh, maxing this out with a bunch of devices connected and I was able to get that up you know very very high to that close to that 3,000 watts and it powered them without problem so um, I can recommend this to you and I just want to mention too that Mango Power is running a, um, a Black Friday sale which I will put the details in the video description, but this Black Friday sale is going to give you a pretty good discount off of the Mango Power E if you want that. Um, but if you're getting a setup, you'll need the Mango Power E and you'll need at least three of these Solar Move solar panels. And you know, four would be probably really sweet and you'll need to get that extension cable. But otherwise, easy to connect, easy to understand. Um, everything appears to be built really well. Um, but overall, I, you know, this is a system that I can recommend to you. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you have something to uh, mention to me, please leave that below in the comments if you have an observation about this setup. Uh, and please let me know if you have some kind of other solar generator setup and how that's working for you. I also want to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.